Welcome to Price Law, this is Mike, and today we're gonna get hormonal because we're gonna talk about PE Science's latest and greatest member of the True series, their True I3C. I3C, short for Indole 3 Carbonyl. And this is uh, December of 2020. So we're gonna talk about why you would take this against uh, versus something like DIM or methane, which is another uh, kind of estrogen limiting type supplement. So we're gonna go down the estrogen pathway in this case and, uh, and give some of the use cases why you take that. But a lot of times we see DIM in supplements. Well, PE Science's take is actually to go straight to the I3C, but drop it in a larger dose. And we'll talk about that. And overall, I think it's a great idea so long as you do it right. And it looks like they did. So we're gonna go into the details there. Before we get into all that, make the lawyers happy. This was sent for free, and this is not a review, just so you know. It's considered this more like a sponsored ingredient discussion because I haven't opened it. Not a review. My estrogen levels are uh, typically pretty good. My testosterone levels are still pretty good. Getting there, though. And, and then, um, and we do have a blog post on uh, on. Price Plow, if you are watching uh, on YouTube, you can click the description link and we'll have some of the st studies cited there. And uh, we do have a coupon affiliate code with PE Science, it's, uh, affiliate code is Price Plow. So with all that out of the way, we're gonna talk about why someone would supplement I3C instead of DIM, and when you wouldn't wanna do that, and uh, what the benefits are here. So PE Science has a, a whole true series, usually single ingredients, or like more of their, their more basic stuff as opposed to some of their more intense like protein powders or fat burners. And with, I, with true I3C, in two capsules, you're getting 400 milligrams of indole 3 carbonyl. So we'll talk about what's going on there. Uh, but generally, when we're, when we're blogging about um, various anti-estrogen type supplements, and on this channel, it's a mostly male demographic, so a lot of times it's people that are looking to keep estrogen low uh, for body composition reasons or for like post-cycle therapy reasons when they're using uh, exogenous hormones like a steroid cycle and the testosterone goes up, estrogen follows, and then they need to get the estrogen back down in check. That's where we look into, well, first off, you should be using a, you should be always taking blood work, whether you're talk, looking at this video for fertility reasons or for uh, muscle growth reasons, stick with the blood work. And if you're doing hardcore stuff, you probably need to be seeing a doctor and be using more pharmaceutical stuff. But this is helpful in the mix of the supplement uh, based route, but it isn't always the only route you want to take. So blood work, blood work, blood work. Anyway, a lot of times we're, we're talking about these supplements, whether they're mood enhancers or they're anti-estrogen post-cycle therapy supplements, or maybe even stuff kind of geared towards fertility for women. Um, and a lot of times you see DIM, d methane in these supplements. PE Science is going with a little bit of more of the spacey true uh, I3C and all three carbonyl. And the reason is, is that when Whenever we're blogging about these, these uh, supplements that contain DIM or a DIM only supplement, DIM is like one of the more active metabolites that is like, the, that's a laser precise um, ingredient that works as an aromatase inhibitor, meaning it inhibits the aromatase enzyme and the aromatase enzyme is the enzyme that converts androgens, namely like a lot of times testosterone, to estrogen. So if we can limit the uh, the enzyme that's doing that, we're going to eliminate some of the estrogen that's made. And down the line, we're gonna get a lot uh, less of the bad estrogen, which is what this targets. And that's that's the benefit of supplementing something like DIM. However, when we, when we write about it, and keep getting back to this point, we always say that DIM is a metabolite of I3C, and I3C is actually what's found in the, in the vegetables out there, typically the uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. Now, those are always healthy to eat, but in order to get huge amounts of I3C to like really uh, tamper down the bad estrogens, you probably need, need to eat a ton of that stuff. I'm always a fan of the, the high-protein vegetables like, uh, like the broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, and all that kind of of stuff. Uh, so it's always good to get. But at the same time, sometimes we're doing some stuff that needs a little bit more of a, we need a little bit more help with our estrogen levels. Uh, for instance, like I said, you're taking a, a hormone cycle, whether it's birth control or your, uh, you know, steroids or whatever. And if you are, then of course, see your doctor. But also if you're exercising super hard or you're kind of like dieting wrong and not eating enough and your estrogen levels may be out of whack or just you're st standing here like I am aging, a lot of times your body is working really hard to maintain a balance. And if we have too much estrogen getting created, we're gonna get too many estrogen metabolites created and some of that stuff works against us. Now in men, if your estrogen's too low, you're gonna be uh, moody. And this, <laughs> this is where we uh, get into like the, the 
the jokes about soy and all that. We'll save that for another video. But you get moody, um, libido goes down, and, and too high is just and, and too high and too low are both problematic. You need some estrogen to make gains and everything and to function like a normal human being, but too high, you get moody, have fertility issues, and you can be puffy. Now the bad estrogens get stored in the fat cells, which um, which can be very counterproductive for dieting as well. So there's a lot of issues there. And with women, there may be fertility issues, a little bit too much hair on the lip, uh, some of the mood problems. And uh, But a lot of times women are looking for these supplements due to fertility or just like a, a trouble getting rid of some of the water and losing some of the fat there. And so we could talk a little bit more about that in detail as well. But in general, those are kind of like the, uh, the conditions where someone would look into something like this or you just know that you just you know, slammed a bunch of testosterone uh, and you need to make sure your estrogen stays as low as, you know, as, as reasonable as possible. And so a lot of these multifunctional supplements contain the DIM, but the DIM is actually um, found in I3C here. So the benefit of taking a DIM supplement is that you're getting DIM. And we know that it is relatively bioavailable. If you take enough DIM, you're going to get some DIM in your body and that's going to work as an aromatase inhibitor. Cool. However, it is not as bioavailable as indole 3 carbonyl. And when you take indole 3 carbonyl here, you're actually going to not only get dim, a lot of it does convert to dim in your gut once it's in the acidic environment in your, in your gut. It's also, you're also gonna get a few other metabolites that also have uh, success in studies, or at least promise in studies. Now, a lot of this has to do with um, estrogen-based cancers. I don't like to drop the C word too often here because we're really not here for that on this channel at least. Um, but it is important that when estrogen's out of control, that there are um, greater incidences of, of cancer. And so this is a type of supplement that's often used to try to keep those things under control. So some of the other metabolites also help with things such as stomach cancer and, um, and breast cancer. And uh, like there's one study on one of the metabolites showing uh, just chemical-based cancer. So like I said, our environments can really mess us up and it's good to try to keep things in check. So when you take a, a, uh, a supplement containing I3C, so long as it is dosed then higher than the kind of the standard DIM dosage, is 200 milligrams. If you take a higher dose than that, you're gonna get the DIM from I3C. If you take a higher dose of, uh, of I3C, you're gonna get the DIM as well as some of the other metabolites that also have the anti-proliferative uh, and estrogen reducing effects. So it's more like, it, this isn't the exact technical word, but it's more like broad spectrum versus laser targeted. And broad spectrum is great as long as the other metabolites give you what you want. And in, in this case, they do. So what's interesting is that you have two capsules at 400 milligrams. And that, that, might, that be, be, might be a little bit confusing because you know we can get like 500, sometimes even 600 milligrams of stuff into one capsule. So I asked PE Science about this, like what's going on? Is this like a 50% strength thing that's not labeled? And it turns out that I3C, and this is why we don't always see it in a lot of those like big mood enhancing or, or you know, post cycle therapy type supplements, it's a really fluffy ingredient. It's low density and you can't smash it enough into these capsules. So PE Science wanted to use small capsules. They wanted to give flexible dosing because not everyone needs a huge dose. So you can get in one capsule, there's only 200 milligrams of this stuff. And then there are some other, other ingredients that help with a little bit of the filling like silicon dioxide and all the standard stuff we always see. Um, but it's a real fluffy ingredient. So when formulators are making a huge like monster post-cycle therapy supplement that's got you know all these other ingredients like transresveratrol and uh, N-acetylcysteine and all these different things that help with the liver and the estrogen and all this, there's not a ton of room in those. And they don't have room for some fluffy ingredient that takes up a ton of space. So they oftentimes just go with the, the, the dim ingredient. However, if you have room or you wanna get more broad uh, spectrum type of effects, where you're gonna hit more pathways, then a bigger dose, if you can handle it, of I3C is where it's at. And that's what you get here with two capsules, 400 milligrams, which I would say is going to be better, in my opinion, than 200 milligrams of DIM. So, and, and, and on top of that, the price isn't too bad. I don't like to quote prices on the, price, on the, uh, the site, but you can go to Price Blind, you can check it out. We have that coupon, like I mentioned before, and uh, it's not too bad of a price. So it really is the fact that this ingredient is kind of a pain in the butt to work with, but if you do work with it, you're gonna get good effects as opposed to the dim. 
And that's basically what PE Science said. You know, I haven't opened this up yet, so maybe we'll, uh, I'll show some B-roll. We're gonna open it up and just see if it really is fluffy or how it really works. So that's kind of the story of why you would wanna use I3C. You're gonna get a few of the other metabolites. Some of those, uh, the other metabolites, such as ICZ, IAN and NI3C on top of the DIM. So you have a, a, a lot of other things that are happening and a lot of those different agents have other benefits that a lot of people are looking for. Most of those are related to reducing the issues caused by too high levels of estrogen. Once again, if you're doing something hardcore, let's say, make sure you get your blood work, talk to a doctor, and monitor things closely. If you're just feeling a little bit puffy, yeah, maybe you could try taking this. It could be diet related as well. A lot of women out there have PCOS, which has been uh, become a big problem. Um, in my opinion, uh, there are you know you throwing extra supplements at it is not going to you know, like help the problem as much as cleaning up your diet, getting rid of the omega sixes, the seed oils, like garbage vegetable oil stuff, and maybe uh, lowering the amount of insulin spiking foods that you have, trying to slightly lower carbs a little bit while, while removing some of those seed oils, increasing protein, you're probably gonna have better effects than just using a supplement alone. And there are studies showing like the keto diet helps with PCOS as well. I don't even know if you have to go full keto though. I really think you just gotta get rid of the seed oils. But I kind of derailed there. So there's a lot of things to look into, but if you're just like feeling a little bit fluffy, then maybe this is something to try and compare it against DIM. I think that a 400 milligram dose of I3C I would rather take after looking at this research than a 200 milligram dosage of DIM, but there's no problem with either of them. So, uh, so check it out on Price File, and we'll link to the video below. We'll link to the blog post below in the uh, description on YouTube. Thanks for watching. This is Mike. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's taste this. See what happens. Um, doesn't taste like vegetable. This tastes like wood. Nah. Yeah, you can flavor over that. I'd rather have it in capsule form though. Welcome to- All right, I'm back. I'm actually trying to clean up that mess I made and this stuff is not easy to work with. It's like not cleaning up. And my fingers are a sticky mess. It's, I can see why companies don't like using this stuff, but in a single ingredient product, got no problem with it. This, I, I like need to get the vacuum out on my own countertop. This is crazy. Yeah, this is, this sucks. I could, yeah. There's a, there's a reason why you're seeing more dim, but when it comes to a single ingredient formula, you might as well just go with two capsules of this. I see both sides now. Price plow.